Hey guys. <laughs> Thank you. You just said what I was going to say. Um, today is very special for me actually because it's my one year anniversary at the open stage. <laughs> And you know, bef before I say anything else, I just want to say my big and sincere thank you to Russ and everyone involved for having this venue, for making all the difference in my 2012. Um, <laughs> um, you know, so much happens during the year. Um, when I go to parties right now, and for people, well, that, yeah, that too. <laughs> uh, that happens too, yeah. But when I go to parties, you know, for people that don't know me, well, hmm, actually most of them know me. I, I don't know how, but they do. Um, but for people that don't know me, the hostess usually introduces me like, this is Helen, she's from Ukraine, and um, she does stand-up comedy. And usually they kind of like all start attacking me with questions. Oh, where do you perform? Uh, what days? Do you do the same routine or do you change it? And someone actually went as far as asking me, well, uh, does it pay pretty good? Um, I paused. Yeah, I paused for a minute and I said, emotionally it pays millions and I wouldn't trade it for anything. And, um, yeah, you know, and just to think of a year back, a year back I would have not been here yet, I would have not done a comedy show, um, I would have not brought about 70 people here, and um, I would have not yet made some <laughs> really embarrassing mistakes, and I don't know, 20 or how many, and then some of them actually had to do with the open stage. <laughs> And, uh, you know, for instance, at the very beginning when um, I told Russ, you look cute, and what I wanted to say is, you look nice or awesome, and I had no idea that was used for women and children. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, mean, you mean you're not going to call, are you? <laughs> <laughs> and I still remember one time, you know, I was getting the address of House of Poets wrong and I was telling people the wrong address and I felt so embarrassed. I wanted to say that I'm going to hide in shame and I said, oh, I'm going to bury my head in the sand right now. And then I looked it up and it actually means like ignore the problem, pretend it does not exist. And I was like, oh, that is so opposite of what I wanted to say, <laughs> actually. <laughs> And um, even with the stage left band, you know, they, um, one time I performed, they sang that song for me, I'll never forget this. It was like, she's a brick house. <laughs> and, I, and I came... Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> um, I came home that night and I asked my husband, so what is that song, you know, like somebody lives in a brick house and why, why is it so special anyway? You know, and I, I always hope there will come the time when I will stop making those silly language mistakes. And this year is not that year yet. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> I mean, just recently my husband and I were in Austin this weekend and uh, we were walking down this eclectic kind of street and I saw on one of the shops there was a sign, receiving game in the back. And I was about to tell him, hey, let's go look at what games they have, you know, like board games. But then I saw that like in a smaller print, it kind of had meat market and it had like a little picture of a deer and uh, that got me all confused. <laughs> what exactly did I do? So anyway, that was this year. The idioms are, uh, anyway. And I mean, honestly, if you guys, you may never have experienced this unless you have lived in a different culture for a while, but sometimes those little things that you don't know can actually be plain dangerous even. Because you see, in Russia we drink a lot of hot tea, and pretty much after every meal, and we don't have it in packages, usually it's like the leaf and you just put the boiling water and, you know, let it make tea. So the herbal teas though, in Russian, we call them grass teas. And so, 
Okay, as it was. Um, so one family, they were immigrating to America and they were at the customs and then uh, the employees looked at it, what is this? And he said, oh, it's just grass. Um, anyway, and if you think that only foreigners may say funny things in English, well, think again, because there were so many um, funny signs spotted, like even in Great Britain, uh, there was one at the laundromat, it said, please remove all your clothes when the light goes out. Uh, I don't know. Now, I may have read that wrong, but I don't know. Um, and also, this is my favorite. Uh, it's like an exchange shop, like a second-hand shop. And it said, we exchange everything. Laundry machines, bicycles, etc. Why not bring your wife along and get a good bargain? <laughs> and... Um, um, that was a sign in the office restroom. It said, toilet out of order, use the floor below. Uh, um, There's just many ways of reading that. And uh, <laughs> um, I mean, I know I promised you guys some more of those international marketing mishaps, those um, interesting stories. Uh, you know Gerber, the baby food? When they went to Africa, it was uh, kind of interesting because, you know, they have a, the baby picture on the jar. Well, that was actually a problem in Africa because since many people can't read, they actually put the picture on the jar of what's inside the jar. So. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> now, when uh, Colgate when they went to France, uh, they named their product Q, having no idea that was the name of a notorious porn magazine. <laughs> so. And uh, now American Airlines, you know, when they were advertising their new leather seats in Mexico, they wanted to say fly in leather, but it kind of came out as some of you know, it kind of came out as fly naked. And that may be good for some people, but um, um, yeah. And you know, there was uh, like a travel attendant, and she went all over the world, and she collected funny things that she's seen in countries. Um, now there was a camping site called Black Forest in in Germany, and the sign said, "The sign said it is strictly forbidden in our camping site uh, for people of different genders." for instance, men and women, to reside under the same tent unless they're married with each other for that purpose. <laughs> and um, this next one, I mean, I can so see myself making this mistake. <laughs> it's in the French elevator. It said, leave your values at the front desk. I mean, you can go far with that one, you know? Um, <laughs> and I think this is like really a classic one in the Bangkok at the um, uh, dry cleaners. It said, drop your trousers here for best results. <laughs> and, and you know, I, I feel particularly vulnerable when I read something and I know that I have already made that same mistake. Um, this was in France in a dress shop. It said, dresses for street walking. And uh, now, a while ago, I was trying to explain, because you see, in Europe, people spend a lot of time outside, and they go to parks, and we just like to be outdoors. And I was trying to say, you know, I, I like to walk on streets. And my husband said, no, 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 don't say that. That means something very different. <laughs> well, that was averted, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> now, you know, sometimes, though, the stories can get much more personal. Because a long time ago when my husband and I were getting engaged and we had a dinner with all the relatives and grandparents, everyone was saying toasts. And my poor grandmother, she wanted to wish us to live a successful life. So she stood up and she said a toast, but she couldn't quite pronounce the word successful. So she said, well, I wish you guys long and sexful life. Um, <laughs> um, 
And I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that, it's just that, like, we had all these relatives around and grandparents. I was like, hmm. Yeah. Um, anyway, and I, I just wanted to finish up with, you know, I was looking up at some New Year jokes, and this one was my favorite. Um, it's like a man is reading a greeting card to his wife, and he says, Honey, our lawyer wishes us, but in no way guarantees a happy new year. <laughs> so in the light of that, I want to say that I wish, but in no way guarantee that you enjoyed today's performance. Thank you, and happy, happy new year. <laughs>